Hi Mortgage Heroes, Andy Cruz here in Business Development and this is your weekly video newsletter. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you more about proof, more proof. And the proof this week is particularly exciting because it has to do with two things which I know you'll be interested in. Number one is that just this week we got the new home price index measuring the 12 months from November of 2019 to November 2020. And that report shows that home values went up 8.2% nationally. Now, I know that's always adjusted depending on what city and what state you're in and whether you're moving from a dense urban area out to the suburbs or rural parts of the country. But on average, to have 8.2% home value increase year over year, especially given the circumstances we dealt with in 2020, that's pretty crazy. Uh, I'm expecting that the number is going to be the same once we get the December of 19 to December of 2020 number as well. But I mean, just right now, having the November of 2019 to November of 2020 home value increase of 8.2% is pretty remarkable. Now, the other thing that goes hand in hand with that is the other piece of information that came out is that existing home sales were measured at 6.7 million last year. That means 6.7 million transactions of existing homes occurred in 2020. That's the most existing home sales we've seen in over a decade. The only previous time we'd seen that was back during the, the meteoric rise of real estate before the meteoric, 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 meteoric fall and collapse of it in 2008-2009. So since that rise in the 2004 and 5 area, era, we have not seen this many existing home sales change hands and that just happened in 2020. So I think those two things went together and I know you know that too. When you look at migratory patterns of where people are moving to and where they're moving from, you see people moving out of these dense urban areas, these big cities, especially in a lot of the states and the counties that had massive lockdowns or really stringent lockdowns for long durations of time and people were moving out to areas where they could, and especially now if your job has transitioned from work at a business to work from home or work from anywhere, it became all the more likely that people could go to a place where if they had to work at home, they could still enjoy some surrounding areas, some restaurant life, some social life, outdoor life, despite there being the, the, uh, the necessity to work from home. So I think these things all kind of come together to create this you know, ideal picture that we saw in 2020 when it comes to real estate at least. You have home values that were going up as a result of so much of the exchange of existing home sales being sold and bought by one another, 6.7 million. And because of that, high demand, and in some areas, very low supply, it drove prices up. And when you couple that with low mortgage rates in an effort to prop up the economy and make people uh, able to refinance their house and afford buying a home, you kind of had a perfect storm of the ideal situation for all these metrics to come together in concert to generate this type of outcome and result. So uh, there's some good news for you, for all you homeowners out there. There's still a lot of demand for the home you own in case you are looking to sell and you're looking to hightail it out of the place you're watching this from. And for those of you who are looking to refinance, of course, rates are still low. However, we're going to be monitoring that very, very closely. We're coming up to the end of January and we're going to roll into February starting next week. And uh, we've been talking to you about the experts being divided and split on whether or not rates should stay low or rates should start to increase. Uh, the Fed is meeting this week. We're going to get an announcement about what their opinion is on the state of the economy and where they see inflation going, where they see the rate environment as a whole existing. And that's going to uh, be a telltale sign of what we could see in the weeks and months ahead. So thank you so much for watching the, the video, the weekly video newsletter. If we can be of service to you, please feel free to reach out. Uh, in the email that you got for this, there's a little button that says email us. And if you're watching us on YouTube, you can write a comment and we'll be sure to respond so we can help you achieve your real estate needs in 2021. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.